It is that time of day. (laughs) Brotherly love pods coming your way. Get ready for another episode of the Brotherly Pod Podcast. I didn't even I couldn't help you. Pod Pod to Pod. How are you guys? How's everybody doing? I think a large truck is reversing. That's impossible. We're in a soundproof studio at the top of the building. (laughs) (laughs) We are in a soundproof studio in Abu Dhabi. That's impossible. You don't hear anything up here at four million feet. (laughs) Or we could be in our basement. I don't know. And you know what? Nobody else will either. But apparently... Right here, guys. Apparently, right here. Dan and Sue from across the street what? are still redoing their what? driveway. Well, we didn't tell anybody is we're actually in the back of the truck. Right. <laughs> it's a mobile podcast. We drive around so we don't get caught. Oh, my God. We also great. serve Taco Tuesdays. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Woo, street tacos. This rolls up and there's a little window. <laughs> People start. What do you guys want? You Just, want, he said stir fry. You want salsa verde on that? You want salsa verde on that? Carne asada coming up. Oh, uh, God, that's so funny. Look, we're doing everything we can. <laughs> so, guys. We're here. It's another episode. Another We're episode. still here, guys. I know. Man, our fans are pretty cool. So cool. Yeah, I, I know. I mean, I'm shocked they this, like this is like the little us. pod that could. Like, they are, <laughs> seriously, like, they broke us into the top 10. Like, I don't even know. We are uh, so uh, thankful season, to you guys. I know. First awesome. season, top 10. Like, out of nowhere. Like, we pretty have. sweet. Yeah. No, but we're so thankful to you guys for, for watching this on our YouTube and for listening to us. Yep. Everywhere that you can listen to podcasts. And uh, this is the Burly Love Pod to Pod, baby. We got merch that we're working on. That's coming your way soon. And um, I don't know. We're just growing this, this, like I said, this little pod that could, I guess. And we're very, very, very thankful and grateful. So what are we, what are we going to talk about today, guys? I don't know. So, Listen, I've been busy. So I haven't had a lot of time to uh, really think about what I want to share with you guys. Oh, that's today. nice. You yeah. just basically told well, all we've the been listeners working on, that you don't really care about them. I care about them, not you. Oh. Okay, yes. That's what it is. Yes. That's why we've been doing these TikTok lives and the IG mm. lives, because of course I care about them. All the Joey's Angels out there, all the Brotherly Love fans out there, all the Matthew Lawrence fans out there, all the Andy Lawrence fans out there. And Joe's becoming a real Nick Cannon. <laughs> oh, God. He keeps popping them out. I don't even know what to say. Maybe yeah. number 12. I don't know what to say. I will, you know what? All I, I'll say is oh, this. What the only thing. I got to add and I, Look, to each his own. I respect the it's guy. It's obviously do a hobby you, of his. Do whatever you want. It's definitely a hobby. Do whatever you want to do, right? Obviously. It's great. But, like, the same People magazine picture. I know. It's the same one. Like, it's, but, but it's almost like, is, it is a this dip- a joke? Is it a joke at this point? Is it it's a, the belly. Right. And he's looking to the camera. But isn't it with, a different and, woman? Yes. With all several, the different No, the best part is several different weeks women. Weeks apart. Yeah, it's... <laughs> You know when you walk into a music studio and you see like gold records? Yeah. I feel like he's going to have that, but with pregnancy yeah, papers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. The you know problem I mean? is he had his 12th like three weeks after he had his 11th. Yeah. And, and, and he had his 12th three, three days before his 11th. Yeah. It was really <laughs> weird. Wait, what? But no, the other yeah. thing. Only because the 11th was late. I mean, honestly, I would be kind of happy if he named his 11th child 11. 11. Oh my God, that'd be so cool. For Stranger Seven. Things. Yeah. And, and also because. Yeah, that'd be so cool. Fun, you know? I don't I like think he it. did. I think they're all named Nick in some weird way. Nika, N- Nicolette, Nika? No. Nicolette. Are you serious? no, they're not. That would be really I don't creepy. know. I don't know, dude. I don't <laughs> now, know. Now he's going <laughs> a little. No, but it's just, Cole. It's, what? That's Nicole. the only thing that I just find. Cole. Everybody can find creepy things about everybody. I'm sure me too. But I, I just find. What the, are your the, creepy the, things? I don't know. But the creepy. Everybody shot should know of, at least one creepy. I'm with same you. People magazine show. I'm with you. I, I I feel the exact same way. And I, totally separate from you, I actually had a conversation like with my girlfriend about this and she brought up the same thing and we were actually, I was like, no, come on. She was like, I swear, it's like the same picture. It's the and same And some of the weeks apart, I was like, no. And she showed me yes. and I was like, what is this Wait, guy? Is, this, is he joking or is he not? Know. Like, what I don't is going know. on? Does people forget they just posted that picture? No. Here's Nick Cannon, baby number 10. It's like, with baby 11 on the way in three days and 12 in the works. It's like, <laughs> what is this, uh, Fast and Furious movies? What are we just one every summer? <laughs> They're talking about 13, 14, and 15. <laughs> shooting them all back I to know. back. Listen what? to me, Torrego. <laughs> you know, it's like a Vin Diesel's gonna love <laughs> family. <laughs> <laughs> We're family. We love you. Love family. Toretto. And the rock. No, no, no. I mean, no, it's like, no, 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 no I mean, he's, 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 he's not in the new one. No. They got rid of him. He's on, he's they a, spun he's him a off in the Hobbs and Shaw, which actually I like that. Hobbs I like now. that. I like that movie. Because I like Jason Statham, you know? I, I think just, I think it's because the profile of The Rock and Vin Diesel was too similar. Yes. Yeah. Like oh, the it's silhouettes. It's identical. Yeah. Why would you get two guys to put them in silhouette? You yeah. can't tell them apart. Yeah. Well, I think Vin Diesel had a real big problem with that. Well, because The Rock looks like <laughs> well, he ate Vin Diesel. Yeah. yeah. The Rock looks bigger. Yeah. Well, well, if he's definitely bigger. He's definitely bigger. Yeah. 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 Any steroids you can do, <laughs> I can do better. 
Pretty I much. can do better steroids than you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. <laughs> da, da, la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, why are you half man, half horse? Just starts running out. Wow, he's taking it really far. He's a centaur. You know that commercial? <laughs> we are huge rock fans. So let's just and, say that. And Vin Diesel and fans. Vin Diesel. <laughs> Pitch Black was awesome. No, it was awesome. Hey, Pitch Black was actually And honestly, awesome. I've enjoyed some of the Fast and Furious movies. Me a too. A few of them. Me too. Some of them are... First one was good. Ridiculous. But but some of them are great. I like Tokyo Drift, but not, the, no, neither, none of the guys were in that no, one. Yeah. You like Tokyo Drift? <laughs> That's the oh, one I actually like. Oh my god, you're so funny. I like the first one, and I like the one with Jason Statham. I like that one. Man. I like that one. Well, I just like when Jason it got so. I know you're you're a Statham. What the, Statham f- what the they, fuck did you um, just say? That's my favorite. He's the one Snatch. action star when I'm in, in the Snatch? room with him. I feel tall. In Snatch, weird. Who, Jason? <laughs> well, he's our height. Yeah. No, he's is he not shorter? Even our height. Fantastic. No. I love him. But. I loved in Snatch. Remember when Brad Pitt was doing that? Oh, yeah, yeah, and he yeah. looks to his guy. He goes, well, "Snatch is a great movie. I love Snatch." Yeah. But when he, when Jason looks to his friend, he goes, "What the fuck did he just say?" <laughs> I love the Paddy Wanker Blue. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's caravan. Oh, Paddy Wanker Blue. Oh God, great. that movie was great stuff. Dennis Farina when he says uh, yeah. he stamps the stamp and he goes, "Boo, boo, goo." Oh my awesome, god, that movie yeah. was so dope. Yeah, that's um, that's like Guy Ritchie standard now. It is, know? dude. Everybody refers to that as Guy Ritchie style, know. and it should be. Yeah, he's. Awesome. I mean, he he took that from uh, actually, uh, you know, Bullet. built on it from other. Did yes. you see the movie Bullet, and things, the Opening but, of Bullet, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, did you like the Fast and Furious because your thing is cars? Yes, I love and it. muscles and muscles. You're right. It's Joe's like dream, what dream <laughs> right there? Joe's yeah, hobbies. He is and cars. At night, yeah. Joe stays in the mirror with his car keys and goes, "We're family." <laughs> I love you, fast family. Yeah. Uh, no, but uh, Toretto. Toretto. I, I I do love cars. You know, I mean, I love that. You know, I no, had a '97 Supra, right? So the Toyota. I don't Supra, even know what that is. It's oh, one of the okay. iconic cars from the first Fast and Furious. You know, uh, I, bless, I, I had that car. Bless his soul. Uh, R.I.P. Paul Walker. But oh, I actually voice matched Paul Walker. Did you? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Either like pickups in the movie, or and then I the video did, game, and, right? and then I did video, Fast and Furious video game. Wow. It was just the weirdest thing ever yeah. that I voice matched. Yeah. Paul, they sent me like, they were like, can you do a Paul Walker impression? And wow. they sent me this thing and I did it and it sounded well enough like him that they thought they wow, could get away with wow. it. Crazy. So yeah, what a wild. Lines, yeah, mm. done lines. I mean, it's hard to wrap my brain around a guy oh. that has a very famous franchise called Fast and the Furious about racing fast cars and mm. that's the way that it ends. Oh. I yeah. Just, it was oddly really shocking and jarring. Um, yeah, it was. I just um, never understood why he was in that car going that fast. Well, letting that guy drive. I don't know. I mean, I like, know, yeah. all I know is he's taught me a lesson. I, I've been around those oh, yeah. situations with the stunt guys who want to take me and no so, way. Now I'm like, nah, nah, no, thanks. I'm, Isn't it funny? Okay. I love, I love cars. I've always loved cars. Um, They're dangerous though. They are. I don't. This guy riding don't, a motorcycle. I don't, well, that's ridiculous. I don't drive them fast though. <sighs> I love fast cars. I love the way they look. I love Porsches. They're probably my favorite car in the whole world. Um, Porsche. That's your favorite? Probably. Because it's been... You know what they say with a guy There is no a Porsche, substitute, right? Yeah, they drive in a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no, but um, they're an evolutionary design because the 911, quintessentially, they never wanted to change the silhouette. So it's evolutionary. Whereas every seven years... For for you know expensive cars, they try to do a revolutionary design, mm. and they fully change the vehicle. That's why the Mercedes Benz silhouette has changed so much, and BMW silhouettes have changed so much. But people still hearken back to the original. Well, the 911 silhouette has remained the same on the mm. 911. That's why it's one of the purest cars in the world. And all they do every year is try to make it better, take what they have mm. and make it better. Did not know that. That's why it's still, in my opinion, the best daily driving car in the world. But I love cars. I always have, and yeah. you know, I I'm a little perplexed at. Why electric cars, in my personal opinion, have to look electric. I don't know why they can't look like regular cars. Dude, I want an old, like, 1969 Mustang. Electrified. Put an electric engine. That would be the coolest cool. fucking yeah. thing. And what, old by the way, Camaro, there electric are companies, Camaro. There, wait a minute. There are coolest companies, thing. Say, there like, are companies the doing it. Yeah, that's going to become a thing. No, there it, are it companies doing is, it. But they should. And repurpose the bodies. Like, yeah. why not do that? Like, they are coming... I don't understand. Old Thunderbirds. Like, I'd rather have Imagine the 69 the, Bronco dude, I had oh, as electric than the new Imagine Bronco. Imagine taking a 50, or even hybrid. Dude, or taking yeah. a 59 Thunderbird. Right. And throwing in electric so engines cool. and LEDs. I mean, I know you're kind of gutting and ruining it, and, and true no, motorheads would probably want to kill me for saying it, but. Yes, but. I think it would be cool. I I'd totally agree with you. I just don't understand why. Like, my biggest complaint, and I've said this to a lot of people, and I'll say it out, right. out, out loud. You're absolutely right. 
is why they have to look cosmetically like, they like, look like jelly crap. beans. Dude, even the motorcycles. I drive a Harley. I was in the market for an electric bike, but I couldn't find any any electric motorcycle that fulfilled um, that uh, you know the extension why of you. Why do the aesthetics? Yeah, I don't know. Have to change so much. I understand the aerodynamics. You have to tweak things. Sure, but like I don't understand why they or have to make look them like cool. cartoons. They look like. This the cars move. Make them cool. They literally look like Lightning McQueen. There isn't all anything cool. I don't want to drive around Lightning McQueen. They look like jelly beans. They do. Horrible. I don't know why. They all have these little fish eyes. Yeah, like and just little points everywhere. Give They're me weird cars. A fat Bob with a with, a, with an electric engine in and it. And I got to tell you, and and cars in general, there are a lot of cars that are I don't know what they're doing. Like iconic cars that I'm just like really confused about sort of where they're going with de with design. My, my the one of the ones that I think have been just obliterated the last, oh my gosh, 30 years, other than the Escalade, is Cadillac. You know, the Cadillac used to represent, I mean, you go back and you look at 57 Cadillac, 55 Cadillac, this, even throughout the 60s and the iconic Cadillacs, just you knew it was a Cadillac, man, mm -hmm. and it reeked of elegance and sophistication, and it was a Cadillac. Look at these cars today. Wow. They're a joke. First of all, they're more concerned with these little sport utes that they have, which are, in mm -hmm. my opinion, horrifically ugly. The Escalade is the only car in the line that's redeeming. They even have this new, uh, their new electric uh, car, what's it called, Lyric or whatever it's called, the new electric Cadillac Sport Ute. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't you make the electric one look like the Escalade? Look know. at this car, look it up. It's just, it's just Weird. weaselly looking. It's really odd. It's yeah. not cool. I agree. And they have, they have <laughs> very few cars anymore, which I think is obnoxious that they don't have something to compete with the likes of BMW and Mercedes. They got nothing. They well, just I, gave the market away. My, well, and my point to, to you on this is if they're truly pushing, which they are, the whole EV and again, thing. Now, that's the, fine. The, 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 and the debate's open with all the dumping of the batteries oh. and what that's going to do to the environment. I mean, here's the deal. I, I don't know how much, like, to me, hydrogen, like, water-based cars. I mean... Yeah, there's those engines out there. Th there are. And here's the crazy thing. You know, you know the automobile started as a hydrogen Wait. vehicle. Here's the crazy way back thing. when when here's, it was the you know the horseless carriage the auto carriage I as really they called it you know the audience actually to go and research this yeah if you look back at all the automakers who yes had an engine better than the gasoline engine that yes that ran on hydrogen yes there's one that was a battery engine if you look this is not a joke it's not a conspiracy theory just go research it not only were the creators and the head scientists killed. Everybody that worked at the factories were all burned down in the factories and no one survived, including all the paperwork showing where these engines were to go. Is that real? Research it. Mm. Really? Go research it. Google it. Really? Uh, go go research real. it. There they is some they truth were all that. taken out by the gasoline. Well, I'll, I'll tell you. Industry. Th that's my only thing. Is That, that I was know, the look, one look, that was chosen. I am all for. Everyone else was pushed aside. Yeah, and I'm all for. I feel like we should be shooting electricity to the, to the ground. I am all why I mean why do we ever I just think it'd be fun to have like slot cars arc, arcing electricity shoot you know because we did, that's what we used to do we used to shoot to, Tesla shot electricity under in the dirt rather than wires oh nice so I was like why and would we have electrical wires of soil yes and so why would we use wires so, no the reason we don't because the joke is that electricity would then randomly be yeah, arcing out of the ground <laughs> yeah but it, but but he did successfully that put send air it. in my back he successfully um, sent electricity from A to B multiple times without. You know, well, that's you really cool. And here's the deal: brilliant. I'm all for I'm all for the perfection of any creation. I'm all for it. Let's get better with it. Let's find ways to improve upon it. Evolutionary, though, I, not revolutionary. That's right. Perfection. Exactly. That's the difference. And I don't understand. Like you look at the 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 global impact over time of the battery acid from these hundreds of thousands of massive batteries. What are we going to do with these batteries? And when they run out, because they have a shelf life, clearly we're experiencing that even with Tesla now. Like these, some of the first generation Teslas, they need new batteries. Like oh, yeah, the batteries they, are not they, taking they charge. Come and, they they come mean, and replace the even battery. Your, right. And what are they doing with the old batteries? Launch and them into space. The <laughs> space That's trash. Point. So to me. Actually, space junk. You, I don't By know. By Wang Chung. <clears throat> I don't space know. junk. junk. <laughs> I don't know. De -pod, de -pod. Words are I don't coming know. through. Yeah. I don't know. Space junk. We junk. don't know what that's going to do. And really what the trade-off is. Mm. All you're doing is now taking power from a select few and mm. giving power to a different select few who make the batteries. I mean, I think the, well, I think the jury's out. Well, Anybody no, that says they're going to be way better, 
we really can't say that yet. Well, I don't know. Well, in they my, might be. In my but opinion, I'm not sure. From driving a Tesla, it's a oh, it's a good experience. It's a, I've I've driven one. It's a way better driving experience for the average person than driving a normal gasoline car. It just mm. just is. I, just the experience is, but charging it's a nightmare. No wait, but wait, no wait. And yes, you're right. Where are they going to get all the power and all that? Well, here's the thing. I mean, they're already telling certain people yes. out here in California. Here's like, the thing: there will be days when you can't charge, but. No gasoline cars are going to be left in this state. Well, this is why. Hold on. Yeah, you can only charge on Wednesdays. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, this is. <laughs> but this, is right. this is what I don't understand. I got to get and to San I Diego. Don't, I Oops. I truly don't understand it. They want the green initiative, mm -hmm. so they're pushing the battery cars, right? Right. Um, but yet there is a solve for the electricity problem. What, ocean turbines. No, all you need is 100 gigafactories to power the whole world. Elon uh, built one in Texas. 100. All you need is 100 to power the whole world. He's built one in Texas, mm -hmm. and he's been avidly saying, "All you need is like twenty-five of these in just the U.S. You know, and, and all of U.S. is power will be handled." And the problem is, just like anything, yeah, I think alongside they of need reptiles, thirty years because if they just switched over right away, yeah. everyone would lose all their money. Everyone's four yeah. OKs, four four hundred one Ks are based off of fossil fuel. They would be more like four OKs. I think. Ks. I think Matt, yeah, I'm <laughs> done with them. They would just be oh, oh, oh Ks. Ks. What's that? It's a little small. Zero down. So the, that's the problem. Is it's one tenth of the four hundred one? There's, there's a real the skip 40. in the fact that most of the world's economies function off of fossil fuels. You just yeah. can't go. So the government's not really being forthright because they want to look up. like they're trying to oh, push, but they can't push it that fast. Otherwise, every the whole world economy goes. The on. guy running California is trying it, so we'll see what happens. No, he's because he wants to look good, but he knows just like anybody else, nothing can be implemented that fast because the economies can't change over from the U.S being the dollar standard for oil. All of economy is going to have to be replaced if you if you don't I do that. Think it's, yeah, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors in my opinion. And I appreciate the experience. I don't mind it. It's like a very nice golf cart. As a car enthusiast, you know, I miss the purr of the engine. I miss the sound. I don't. It's. I know. I love. I love how Audi actually on their, on their the e-tron e models, you get that. It's got a much more guttural mm -hmm. feel to it. Have you driven which I the appreciate. new M all electric BMW? Uh, no, I've not driven that yet. The i8. I've never literally screamed like as if I was at a jet, like fighter jet. I thought I was, I was filming top. Really? Car. Nothing has a torque like that M EV. Yeah. Even in Tesla. It goes. But Tesla's like. Right, 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 right. It's literally like. You really? I mean, Dude, yeah. you got to drive it. I, I remember. I don't know if I car. like the new eight, if I like the new seven series either. The way it looks. You got to drive weird. this one. Just drive very this weird. one. You're going to. I think it's maybe it'll cool. maybe it'll grow on me. I saw it in a dark color. It looked better than a, than a light yeah, color. Yeah, this but was. Saw it down a dark alley. Light blue. <laughs> Had a bad, cool. bad time. Very yeah. cool. Anyway, I remember sitting in the minivan on the way to New York, the way back. On the I-95? And I'm telling East you, Coast. Joe would see a car way up in the distance, and he'd be like, that's a, yeah. you know, Cadillac. 70, 77 Cadillac Coupe de Ville or something. Yeah. sure enough, Dad, pick up the pace, pick up the pace. We'd get up there, sure enough, it was a Cadillac, you know. From yeah. you'd known them from the either a back corner of the molding or a door handle, the side view mirrors. GM right. used a lot of the similar products, but Chevy had slight differences, you know, across yeah, across so the GM you, line. I love them. I still love, love them. It. It's harder and harder to tell them apart now because mm -hmm. they all are looking so similar, which is my biggest problem. Is like everything is starting to look alike. Like like for instance, perfect example, Mercedes went electric. Now Mercedes have beautiful cars. Their electric cars are disgusting. I don't understand. I don't understand why they, they do are. That. Why do you have to physically change? Yeah. Why don't you just take the the beautiful E class and the beautiful S class and just electrify them? Why do you have to now make it the ESQ I don't know. and you turn it into this single bar light in the back and you make them pod like? Like it's disgusting. They wanted to differentiate well, you, we had, between you know, their we gas had a deal, engines and their electric but engines, and it was a mistake. Remember our, huge mistake. Remember our deal as kids. I would play Matchbox cars. Oh, yeah. You would help me build a zoo. Yes, <laughs> that's right, dude. That's right. And then we both celebrated by playing cap gun fights. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, which Andy loved. Yeah, Andy was in all uh, that. But uh, no, you're right, dude. We'd yeah. play zoo. We'd set up all your animals. Oh, my gosh. You remember that? And, mm -hmm. and we'd do the blocks and do the cages. Oh, yeah. And then we'd play cars. Yep. Yeah, I know, that dude. The, that was I the still the have, trade off. I have, I, 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 I tell you what I did. Um, Matchbox makes a, uh, a uh, world class. They have a world class Matchbox cars, and they were, they were from the 90s. I had them. I'm sure you remember them. Yeah, I but remember. I lost somehow in all the moves. Mom and Dad, I don't know where all my Matchbox cars went, but I've been able to uh, to replace a lot of them. Really? Yes. Wow. And there's this place called um, uh, Auto World, which has the best. Wait, are you saying that you've gone and and have built yourself up a new Matchbox collection? I have, and I'm very excited about it. 
cool. I'll unveil it to you at the uh, at the 2023. Next time you come over, Joey Auto Show. We go over to his garage. They're all yeah. parked in his no, garage. No, no, they will be. You know, no, so you should shoot. Johnny Lightning now and these other brands mm-hmm. are making unbelievable 164th, which is the diecast model size yeah. cars. I have guys the 1985. 300ZX, mm. which I was obsessed with. Wow. The 1976, like, Datsun Z Fair Lady, mm. and these crazy cool cars that I found. Like, unbelievable shit, dude. I mean, it'll blow your mind. I mm. actually have to show you. I had the 1985 500SEC AMG Matchbox World Class car. I have two of the full sets. They came out in the late 80s, early 90s. They had rubber tires. I remember. I remember the painted lights in the front and back. I mean, this was like amazing anyway you telling me this is blowing my mind honestly right yeah now. yeah i'm just blown i'm obsessed i always have been um you know i had quite a car collection when i was younger and then i traded that out for uh children children and a lot of other responsibilities didn't you have, didn't you have 20 ca- 22 ca- 16 cars i had like 20? i had like 14 at one time yeah but they were great you know jay leno has never uh, gotten rid of a car he's ever bought if you'd kept some of those old ones you had you'd oh, like man. some T-Birds oh dude and- dude 1955 thunderbirds i had Ferraris. a 94 poor speedster mm. george clooney has one now the exact car mm. it is worth a fortune no. you know look look we were blessed to work hard and we were successful and stuff so i was able to afford those kind of things it was truly crazy but if i had kept them the investment would have been incredible but i didn't think like that and i had nobody sort of advising me correctly so i used to just roll through them and get <laughs> so rid i just of them. get rolling them over yeah oh, God. not just roll through them i would keep them and have fun and then get rid of them and, oh I'd, but if i had kept it and built a collection oh, yeah. so my goal now is as a as a at this age in the next 20 years i want to get together like a collection of like if god willing like maybe like five to seven like really special vehicles and just keep them That'd you know cool. yeah yeah, but I, I love cars. I'm obsessed. I always have been. I don't know why. It doesn't run in the family, but you know me, man. I have I mean, how many cars did I help get for you guys all and pick them out? Right, Matt? I mean, yeah. There was a run there. I think Matt and I were just taking Joe's We were. Cars. You we were. Just, whole dude, family. Mom, dude, dad, dude. everybody. Yeah, we were all just driving dude, Joe's the Porsche, the Porsche Turbo and yeah. the Cherokees. and mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And he's got the Wrangler Rubicons. I had and, one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, I love cars. They've always held a special place in my heart. I'm, a, I, I'm really, I love the aesthetics of them, which is why... I'm obsessed with how just thematic and there were motifs in so many of the cars because you had artists doing them. They weren't in computer-generated programs like they do today. They were clay models, Mm -hmm. and these artists came in like, you know, all the caps from the 50s, Cadillacs and Chevys and the fins. and I mean, mean, this is like, it was incredible. It was incredible. And now it's just a lot of plastic and, you know, a lot of those design elements, those real specialty moments have given way to mass production and a lot of parts sharing and you lose a lot, you know, and that's why I think... The electric vehicle is the epitome of just plastic, and I just don't appreciate it. Like, it just there's nothing in it. I appreciate know? the concept. I love the concept. The execution needs help. Needs a lot of help, dude. They are ugly. Really ugly. So, in my opinion. They're not that cool. I don't think they're cool at all. They're not. No. They're working. I mean, they need to. What they do is cool. To I don't honest, think they're cool. Yeah, and, and this is going to... Like I said, the Audi e-tron series. My favorite electric car right now is probably the e-tron RS GT. All right, we Look it up. Here. Really dope. Anyway, my love is cars, and it's always been my passion, and even cleaning it. Remember, I used to detail the family trucks and the mini vans, and I'd go out there, and I mean, I, I'm you'd, obsessed. You'd, you'd actually think Joe was going to kill you, because he'd lay down plastic in the passenger seats of his yeah, cars. Yeah, some of them. He oh, thought yeah. he was going to whack you. You got you to bump your feet together, because I don't want crumb, you know, a bunch of dirt and debris being drawn in there, you know. Donnie Brasco style. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, hey, Jimmy, mm. somebody didn't mm. clean their feet. Why is there plastic oh, all over the what's seat? This, huh? What's this weird... Do, do. Oh. <laughs> That's right, Goodfellas style. No, um, anyway, that's my passion. But you're right, Matt, yours was always your passion for animals, right? Isn't that weird that, like, you just were born with that? Like, yeah. I was born knowing cars. I was born loving cars, knowing cars... You were born, you just, nobody else in the family shares that, but your obsession with animals and reptiles. And I remember going down, what? We used to go, remember in old, uh, in old Revelation Road there, we used to go down to the, to the swamp. You used to make me pick salamanders with you out from underneath the rocks. Oh my gosh. Remember yeah. that? Dude. Yeah, we had a pond and a stream. It's really, yeah. it was special. Yeah, we, I, there were frogs, salamanders. The salt licks out back with the deer. deer all that Come on, yeah, dude. Very, I'm very lucky that we grew up in rural East Coast. I helped you dig those holes. We put those toads in them. That's right. Yeah. That's we right. had we had two little like balconies off the back of our house. 
And obviously, being in Pennsylvania, we get cold winters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt would line up my cars with me, and like he said, we'd play zoo. But then I'd also have to go dig trenches. Well, that him. was when I was really young. But then as I got like five or six, I started God. to move the zoo to real God. zoo keeping. I hated that. Yeah. I love you, so I did it. But yeah. it was disgusting. You didn't like that. I no. can't even believe mommy that you dig up our yard. Yeah. You dug up dirt. Yeah. Remember dad said, yeah, the grass is not really grown in there anyway. Because it was these yeah. balconies and the grass didn't grow that good. Because we didn't, it wasn't like it California. It was just mud. I was it like, was. Dad, it's just mud. It's Can dirt. I turn it into something beautiful? Yep. <laughs> it was like we built these, right. and then remember we had to keep pouring water in it every day because it didn't have. And I went to the pond. Yes, you did. Caught frogs. Yep. Fish. Yep. And recreated the pond underneath the porch. Yep. And I helped you. You know. You know. Man. It was fun. It. Yeah. With some with some man hours. You know what's sad? About ten years ago, I went back. Did you? Yeah. Went back. I was uh, I was there for some reason, uh, shooting something. Went. I was like, I'm just gonna go back. I'm getting there. I'm like, the driver's like, okay, we're getting close. I was like, no, no, we gotta, no, we gotta cross. There's too many mini malls. We have to cross the bridge. You're gonna go through all these trees. Right, right. You're gonna get. You're gonna see these huge oak trees. You're gonna see these old. Po- Is it gone? Mini malls. No. All the trees. Are you kidding me? I believe Joni Mitchell said it best. Yeah, pave uh, paradise. Yeah. Uh, it, it. I was shocked. And we get to Rev Road, and I'm like, put up a parking this lot. Is- <laughs> This is the, this is our street, right? And so, of course, went down. Your damn cars, Joe. You know how, you know what they're saying about when they go to the, look at the streams in Ohio right now and they're all the. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Covered with gasoline. No. No salamanders, no frogs, no fish, no deer. All gone. Are you shitting me? All gone, dude. All mini marts, wow. uh, apartment complexes, homes, and. In Meadowbrook? Abington? You know, I watched the show The Goldbergs, not rural anymore, which man. I loved. That is our childhood. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, they grew up on our street. Dude, yeah. They're from Adam Goldberg. Yeah. Our, literally yeah, our The neighbor. real Adam Goldberg. Yeah. yeah. And like literally that show, they yeah. are in Willow Grove Mall yeah, that's, in the show. That's where we they got- They go our, to the Wawa. That's where we got discovered. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's where it happened. Yeah. Like w- literally. I mean, it's, yeah, it's so crazy. That's, that's Philly right there. That's yeah. Where we grew I mean, up. yeah. But yeah, that's where, that's where it all started. Um, you know, I've, I've told this before, but it, it's just- I, I yes, I was born that way to really gravitate towards nature and animals and things, but then it was just reinstilled right. with the fact that I couldn't really go out in public as much, you know. So right. paved paradise, paved paradise, parking lot, yeah. Yeah. For, your, for your cars, Joe. Paved paradise for your cars, for your parking lot. Yeah. Well, I love cars, but I, I didn't want to take away paradise. Meadowbrook. Yeah, See, that was no. your hobby's killing mats. That's not true. How dare you pit us against each other? There you go, bastard. I'll throw the knife in between you and let's. Yeah. You okay. Have at it. Gotta go make another action movie. I know they painted the old house. Yeah, we grew red. up in a house. Our grandfather designed that house. It was so cool. I will say that the design of that house was special. It was so cool. It was so cool. And it was man. made out of redwood. Yeah. And then I believe they painted it. They did paint it. And you don't paint redwood. It's it was a redwood. Cedar. 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 Sorry, you can't cedar. use redwood on a side. You're right. You're right. You're cedar. Right. Cedar. 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 That's right. So quick. It was red in color. It was red in color. Because cedar is sort it of, a, it's like a, it's not really red. It's like a dark, almost like, mahogany. like mahogany. Mahogany. Yeah. yeah. That was really four, cool. right? You were, no, you, there was only you one know. kind of wood when you yeah. were four. But that was an amazing time, an yeah. amazing house. And uh, we were able to wood. facilitate my whole Matchbox car collection and your whole obsession with tadpoles and lizards and chameleons. Yeah, very lucky. The chameleons, the what do they call the anoles? Anoles. See, and I uh, brought them back from Florida. Yeah, on the plane in under your pits, in, in, in his armpits. armpits. Yep. And, uh, yeah, and yeah, I didn't even I didn't know it was illegal. I just was trying to keep them warm. We didn't even know you had them. No, you didn't know. Nobody knew. You, um, I'll never forget. We were coming back on the plane, yeah. and 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 Matt kept scratching his pits, and I'll never forget. Mom was like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "I'm just moving them around. Like moving what around?" He's like, "My friends." And we're like, "Yeah." He had- Chameleons what? and shit. How many? Here's the best part. How many damn lizards have you got in your here's shirt? How old was I? How old was I? Man? Seven. Seven. I did happen to get a hold of a male and female. They did have babies. No, I know. I had those babies for years and years, and those babies so had sick. babies for years and years. I had them for like literally eight years. You had like the Nick Cannon of an oldies. <laughs> He just kept having kids. Yeah. True. This guy won't stop. Yeah. Now that was unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, that was. I'll never forget that. Why are you scratching your armpits? I'm moving them around. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's like, what are you moving? You know when you when see take like a, him, he'd take them out of his armpits and then put them in his bag. Yes, on yeah. the planes, so uh, little dude, boxes, dude. And in, in, in this, so he'd be like, "You are." I mean, yeah. what? Uh, yeah. Wow, yeah. what a what a time, you know? What a time! You can't right? get away with any of that. No, no. I don't go into no, jail. That was, yeah, um, but you didn't know. I mean, I didn't know. Kid. I literally didn't know. And I had no. We idea. didn't know you had them. No. I mean, I was a little kid too. I wasn't much older, but I'm just saying. It's like it's such an amazing. It was just an amazing time. You know, yeah. like it was just super cool. We lived in that last age of like 
analog and digital, you know, like that crossover period. Oh, yeah. So it was really cool, you know, and, and our hobbies could still be like real hobbies. I feel like a lot of, I mean, a lot of hobbies today, I just feel like, uh, making, making, to... making videos yeah. or like, you know, uh, picking up on a meme and recreating that. A lot and it's of just a lot of, with, yeah. With, uh, digital, not real world. Yeah. What was one? I, 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 uh, took a screenshot of a quote the other day, which I thought was kind of cool. You know, you see all these cheesy little quotes, but this one was kind of neat. When the phone was tied with a wire, Humans were free. Mm. Isn't that cool? That is cool. Yeah. And when you took the wire out of the phone. And you had it with you all the we time. We lost our freedom. Because true. I like that. Isn't that cool? Look at that. It's true. Yeah. It is true. It's very, yeah, very. The phone was tied with the wire. Humans were free. And I thought, yeah. well, that's pretty. Apropos. People don't even realize it, but we've already, we've already, we're already on that trajectory of convergence with like our the technology. Like, weird yeah, you can't, you like can't. I robot shit. This is now an extension of being I know, human. I know. What are they saying? That they're, they're estimating in another hundred years that actually our thumbs will grow longer because we use our, <laughs> is that going to happen? I read that somewhere. No, you're right. They've been saying that, but that's not what it's we're going to be prehensile. Everywhere. Gonna hang all from. at once. No. This giant, <laughs> no, like, no, no, no. fingers. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah. that's what they thought, yeah. but that's, now they've changed their mind because yeah, that's not where it's uh, going. No, do you know where it's going? This thumb is literally a cell phone. <laughs> you know, oh my God. Do you know where it's going? I don't know where it's going. This is what's becoming obsolete. Oh, yeah. the phone. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Before no, a thumbs, phones, before phones, thumbs our grow, it'll be no, it'll contact be lenses and glasses. Oh, right, right, Contact lenses. Right. Then people will start to feel more confident about it going straight to their brain. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on a beach somewhere when that happens. I'm not in the metaverse. Me, no, long no, no, gone. We will, I'm not gonna well, put anything you know in my brain. Reestablish. We will see it, but form. we might I'm be all those. I'm stocked up on crazy. I don't want anything else. We in might there. be those off the grid oldies that just yeah. never quite go there. But we'll still be doing the pod to pod. Though, won't we, pod to pod. Pod to pod. We still be doing it. Think about this. In the future, when you have kids, you're gonna have to really fight the urge. To not get the chip implanted at birth because they'll be behind. They'll be behind if you don't. Because so most people weird. will be having that chip implanted yeah. at birth. It'll be the new circumcision. Well, oh, hey, what the hell, huh? What the hell up in here? Oh, hey, you put a chip in there? What? <laughs> yeah, what? What are you listening to? So you're gonna know everywhere it goes. <laughs> oh God. Okay. You will. They'll be able to probably have parental control over your your child's chip. And you'll be able to know everywhere they go. Wow. And it's worse see than that. They see wow. and parents parents they won't hear. even have that call. It'll be government control. Wow. You're Unfortunately. Really, what a uh, depressing utopia you've set here. It's forthcoming. Andy, tell us about your hobby, it. please. Well, video games, guitars, motorcycles, video, action movies, yeah. music, all movies, you really. Were, you were a big gamer. My life you? is my hobby. You were a big gamer, weren't Huge you? Huge gamer. Well, you know what I noticed about Andy? is I take my hobbies, hobbies and I turn them into... Kids, yeah. My he used life. to dress up. Now he comes out looking like he's, you know, ready for Doomsday, some sure. urban Doomsday assault, proper. you know, routine at different, different I was, times. I mean, I'm a, I mean, I could, I could say I'm a, I was a part, I'm a part-time gunsmith, so, yeah. you know, I used to like action movies and stuff, and I figured that even though I'm in mean, guns is a whole other topic, but we won't get on that now, but uh, just the uh, knowledge that that would bring to it. Action movies yeah. and stuff was yeah. was crucial and beneficial. And it to, has been beneficial has, to you yeah, to understand how that whole world works. Extremely. But I've always been infatuated. I mean, my favorite movie growing up when I was a kid was Lethal Weapon. Oh, gosh. I know. My dude. brother, you guys always introduced me to like... We introduced you to those movies. Rambo, Lethal Weapon. Yep. But I was like three, four, five. I know, dude. We showed you Lethal Weapon. Die I Hard. I know. I Die Hard. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So those I wanted, when I was like five <laughs> or six years old, I wanted to emulate Martin Riggs. Suicidal, Greta. <laughs> you know, like that's really uh, riding motorcycles. He used to come up, you know, and you know, grab that. Remember when he had the wire? And he's like, you used to do that to yeah. me. That thing that rings. Oh my god! I'm anyway. getting, remember him? Remember him walking around going, getting too over this shit. Like, yeah, Andy, yeah. you're six. That's not gonna. That's you can't good. say yeah. that. That's good. Yeah, we actually watched Lethal Weapon three with him. Yeah. Remember yeah. when? Oh yeah. Remember no, Boys to Men? Yeah. Like, I don't you know. know. Oh, the funeral. That funeral scene. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Dude. You do something for me, Mister. Oh my God. You find the uh, man who the put that gun, gun in my when boy's When his wife hand. slaps him. Oh, oh dude, man. that was so well done. That movie was so well done, dude. So well done, dude. That was anyway. But those are my hobbies. That was Lethal Weapon Three. Those are my hobbies. All right, so guys. good. That was take, three, right? Take, yeah, because two was the Cougar on. Th two was the diplomatic South, community, yeah, South Africa. right? South Africa. Yes, Miss uh, Martin Higgs. Should we take a fan question? Yeah, fan let's take question, a fan question. Mm-hmm. It's that time of the show. We got to really write jingles because I feel like if we write jingles, it would work. Yeah. 
All right, guys, uh, the question today, and this is random, by the way, and you guys have been so awesome. There's, there's so many thousands of these things come in, and our great team, we kind of go through them, and then we just randomly put them in like a lottery, and we just pull one. So we don't like pick and choose people that we like or don't like, we just pull one. So this one is Marissa D. Marissa D. Marissa D. What's going on? Not to be confused with Marissa C. Okay, let's see what she has to say. Or E. She's in the middle. Okay. Okay, here we, here we go. Hi. My name is Marissa from New York, oh, wow. and my question for Joe, Matt, and Andy is, would you ever consider starting an OnlyFans account where your fans can subscribe to exclusive content of you? Explicit content? I'm exclusive. sure many of your fans would be very interested Only in fans seeing is another side of you. No, no, no. It just goes without it's, saying. Uh, no, it's no, not no, 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 no. Is it explicit? It's very explicit stuff. I thought that's what I thought. All of a fans only is an explicit. Account? I thought it's nudie photos. Come on, or like feet. I mean, we can make feet. We can make millions. knuckles, earlobes, whatever is requested. Really, I don't know. We, we can make what? millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. <laughs> uh, no, well, no, 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 no. No, we can't, no. Do, that. Nope, no, we we can't, can't do, it. do it. Can't do it. Nope. nope, nope. The pod is kind of our. That's our only fans. That that is our fans. Believe only. me, this is going to get explicit. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what did oh. she say? Exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> This is and going explicit. to get exclusive and explicit, very explicit. Would it would it would it be In future a, episodes? Andy is going to be here, but uh, would it be exactly. looking Andy a lot different than he is right now? Be present, yeah. <laughs> which is great. I'll I'll come for the day. Do you think um it would be a individual or would it be a joint OnlyFans? <laughs> the only way I'm doing it is Do you want it's a joint exclusive one. content like from Joey and Matt and Andy, or exclusive content from Joey Matt and Andy? Uh, yeah, because that we might do. That we might do. We do, hey, you and I used to have pee wars all the time, remember? It's true. So that's what we'll do with our sword fights. Oh my God. We used to do. When we were kids. Be, remember that? That's our only I fans. was always, I would say, Who no, you're Darth win Vader. Today, you're folks. Darth Vader. I don't want to be, I want to be Luke Skywalker. And then we'd pee <laughs> and we'd cross our streams. But then I come in ah, using. Look, they're crossing. Ah. Then I come in using the Force. Yeah, oh God. <laughs> baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Maybe Baby Yoda. No, but you remember that dude? We had epic. Oh my God. Oh, epic lightsaber Grogu. fights. Hey, Joe. Oh, sword fights. You got to go to the bathroom? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We would have piss wars. Oh my God. That was so great. Yeah. That was so good, man. That was uh, so um, wow. I guess the answer to that would probably be I don't know about a no. exclusive thing. No. Uh, I can't do that. No. 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 no, and then smash cuts. Right, <laughs> I don't know. Wow, 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 wow. Every really try, baby. <laughs> and people were like, oh, oh, oh. It's the worst. Oh, these yeah. guys are terrible. We're, we're just loofing each other's backs. Yeah. Andy's, Andy's doing his thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are loofing. Crossing I streams. I little ingrown hairs back here. I just got to loof for them. Really weird stuff. <laughs> Plucking your back. Why do I want to see that? I don't, I don't have to do that yet. Thank no, God. I know. You know, I'm just saying, like, you know, uh oh, look at this one. Look, Matt. <laughs> These guys are disgusting. Yeah. No, anyway, thank you for your question. Keep the questions coming. Um, some of them are really interesting. So, uh, <laughs> uh, but we are so grateful and so thankful. And we will see you guys here next week, every Friday from now to the end of time. Hey guys, the Lawrence Brothers here to thank you for tuning in and watching this episode of the Brotherly Love Podcast. That's right. And to watch clips from this pod, go to the Podco YouTube channel at the link in the description. And for exclusive weekly bonus content, join our Patreon now. The link is also in the description. And we will see you guys next week. Next week. Next week. <laughs>